Welcome to a deep dive into transforming your OnePlus 6 or 6T into a dual boot marvel capable of running both Android and Windows 11. Today, we're focusing on the crucial step of partitioning your device. This is a foundational process for installing Project Renegade. Let's get started. Before we dive into the technicalities, let's talk about the potential outcomes. On one hand, dual booting can significantly expand your device's capabilities, giving you access to a powerful productivity suite with Windows and the flexibility and fun of Android. However, there are risks involved. Incorrect partitioning can lead to data loss or even a bricked device. It's essential to approach this process with caution and a clear understanding of the steps involved. To ensure a smooth process, let's gather everything we need. Your OnePlus 6 or 6T with sufficient battery. A computer with Windows and a USB cable. A DB and fast boot drivers installed on your computer. The latest version of modded TWRP recovery for your device. Required files download links in the description, a backup of your essential data. Backing up your data cannot be stressed enough. While we'll be backing up specific partitions, it's always recommended to have a complete backup of your phone's contents. Use your preferred backup method, whether it's cloud storage, external drives, or a computer. Let's create the workspace for our operations. Connect your OnePlus to your computer using a reliable USB cable. On your computer, open a command prompt window with administrator privileges. This terminal will be our command center for the entire process. To access and modify the underlying system of your phone, we need to boot it into recovery mode. This mode provides a platform for advanced operations. Open the command prompt and navigate to the folder containing your platform tools. Execute the following command, replacing path to twrp.image with the actual path to your twrp image. Once booted into twrp, the data on the phone will be formatted. It's essential to back up important data from your phone before proceeding. After formatting, boot into bootloader mode and flash the twrp image again. To minimize potential data loss, we'll create backups of essential partitions. In TWRP Recovery, navigate to the Backup section. Select the following partitions for backup, FSC, FSG, Modem ST1, and Modem ST2. These partitions contain crucial system information. Before partitioning, let's understand your phone's storage structure. The OnePlus 6 6T typically has a single storage partition. We'll divide this into multiple partitions to accommodate both Android and Windows. The exact partition sizes will depend on your storage capacity and preferences. Now, let's create the necessary partitions. Open a command prompt and enter a DB shell. Now open parted. To view the current partition layout, use the print command. To remove the existing US ETA partition, use RM command and replace dollar sign with the actual partition number. Create the US ETA partition with adjusted size. We are using the make part command, adjust start and end values as needed. You set end value as per your need as it is going to be our Android OS size. I'm going with 30 to gigabytes for Android OS. Create the ESP, EFI system partition, replace 30 to gigabytes with the end value of US ETA. Replace 32.3 gigabytes with the value you used before, adding 0.3 gigabytes to it. Now create the Windows partition, adjust end value as needed. Replace 32.3 gigabytes with the end value of ESP. Replace 125 gigabytes with the end value of your disk. Use pfree to find it. Set ESP as bootable. Use print to see all partitions. Replace dollar sign with your ESP partition number, which should be 18. Exit parted. Now to ensure a clean slate for Android, we need to format the data partition. 
In TWRP Recovery, go to Wipe, select Format Data and Confirm. This will erase old data on the device, so double check that you've backed up everything important. Let's test if Android still boots correctly after the partitioning process. If you encounter any issues, revisit the steps and double check for errors. And there you have it. We've just completed the first crucial step in transforming your OnePlus 6 or 6T into a dual boot powerhouse capable of running both Android and Windows 11. Partitioning your device might seem complex, but with careful attention and following the steps outlined, you've successfully created the foundation for your dual boot setup. Remember, this process involves inherent risks. It's essential to have backed up all your important data before proceeding. If you encounter any issues, don't hesitate to seek help from the community or refer back to this video for troubleshooting. In the next video, we'll dive deep into the exciting world of Project Renegade. We'll guide you through the installation process, configuration, and optimization for a seamless Windows experience on your OnePlus device. I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tech tips. If you have any questions or run into challenges, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to assist you. Dual booting your phone is a rewarding experience, opening up a world of possibilities. I'm excited to see what you'll achieve with your newly dual booted device. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.